Houston Station Space Ground Chief ISS Thruster is enabled. Copy. So there you can see on your screen visual confirmation. What a gorgeous shot. Uh, Dragon has undocked from the International Space Station, and we are beginning the departure. That's right, and you're going to hear the voice of David St. Jacques again. He's the one inside of the station monitoring Dragon for its departure. It's slowly backing away. Everything's looked good so far with those separation burns. Again, as Gary said, that physical separation, that undocking coming at 11.32 p.m. here Taking Pacific. Two, Dragon departure burn zero complete. Copy, departure burn zero complete. So you heard us mention earlier that we have a series of four departure burns, starting with zero, zero, one, two, three. Uh, we have confirmation that departure burn zero has been completed. That's right, and so with that one down, we're going to start seeing Dragon begin flying actually above the International Space Station, and then coming up in just a couple of minutes, departure burn one, the second departure burn, uh, will be coming. That should be in about four or five minutes from now, and so we're going to see Dragon just kind of swing its way over top the space station and eventually fly out of both the keep-out sphere and the approach ellipsoid. And so the Keep Out Sphere is one of my favorite things. It's an imaginary sphere with about a 200 mile radius, so 200 or 200 meter radius. That would be a much bigger sphere. <laughs> a 200 meter radius in all directions. Um, and that just governs, so kind of like the approach ellipsoid, which I explained earlier, before you're in the Keep Out Sphere, any maneuvers with the spacecraft uh, have to be two, safe and five. not get inside within four orbits. Dragons in the corridor and uh, opening rate is as expected. And we should be just about two minutes or so away from departure burn one, and that'll be the second of four that we're going to be expecting today. And it's actually only going to change Dragon's uh, speed by about 0.6 meters per second. So we're talking very small changes uh, in the speed of the vehicle just to get it away from the space station. Now we're going to stick around with this as long as we have views of Dragon and at a minimum until we're out of that approach ellipsoid because that'll basically just mean that Dragon is outside of the neighborhood of the International Space Station and ready to begin its final departure burns, ultimately setting it up for its way home. So departure burn zero came after those initial undocking burns that started carrying Dragon away. Departure burn one is going to be coming up shortly. and Dragon is outside of the keep out sphere. All right, and as you just heard the Capcom tell the crew, Dragon's out outside of the keep out sphere. So that means at this point, Dragon's already more than 200 meters away. And that begins sending it back down underneath the International Space Station because, uh, as Kate talked about a little bit earlier, uh, once Dragon jettisons its trunk prior to the deorbit, we do want to make sure that it's below the space station's altitude. Uh, so that'll be coming up in a little while. But Dragon continuing to fly free. Look, everything looking good so far. Like Dan said, the next big milestone that we're looking for here is exiting that approach ellipsoid. We're expecting that to happen at 11.48 p.m. Pacific, which is in about eight minutes from now.
been a really smooth operation so far with the undocking procedure and now we're moving into departure. Uh, we will be losing video feed for a couple of minutes uh, shortly, but as of right now, you can see on your screen the Dragon capsule moving away and towards the, um, excuse me, as it moves out in away from the approach ellipsoid, uh, there we can see the nose cone still in its open position, uh, leaving the forward hatch exposed. We will be closing that prior to Dragon's re-entry. I will say this is this is a pretty rare treat to be able to see this here. And again, this this video is coming from a NASA airplane that uh, we're flying around that recovery zone there, a WB-57. It's commonly used for a lot of atmospheric studies and other mm -hmm. science missions, uh, but able to put a tracking camera on it to try and get uh, this uh, re-entry through the Earth's atmosphere today. We're hearing that they should have AOSO acquisition, acquisition of signal back with the Dragon spacecraft. Right now it's about 46 kilometers in altitude. And again, just keeping you on the timeline. So we actually acquired signal uh, about a minute ahead of when it was expected. Where we're going to be looking for those initial drogue chute deployments at about 41 minutes after the hour. So after Dragon gets a little bit lower down, we're going to be keeping an eye out. You're going to see the drogue chutes deploy initially, followed by those four main parachutes, uh, much larger and able to slow the vehicle down for a much softer splashdown in the ocean. The Dragon spacecraft continuing to descend. It's now subsonic, so already starting to slow down thanks to the error braking, basically slamming into that Earth's atmosphere, causes a lot of friction and allows the vehicle to eventually reach its terminal velocity, basically. So those drogue chutes do the initial slowing and then they're ultimately going to pull out the four main parachutes responsible for really slowing the spacecraft down prior to that splashing. You can hear cheering here at SpaceX headquarters as the employees that have gathered around our mission control center are sharing the same view as you. Uh, what a gorgeous shot of Dragon coming back down. to the Atlantic Ocean. Really can't ask for a more picture perfect <laughs> shot than that. And yes, all, all four shoots now deployed. It's gonna continue to descend. It's gonna continue to slow down and then ultimately splash down in the Atlantic there. We're now under a kilometer in altitude. Just about 750 meters to go. In case if you're just joining us, you can see on your screen there, Dragon re-entering, has just re-entered the Earth's atmosphere after departing from the International Space Station. We have a gorgeous shot of four healthy parachutes um, deployed and slowing the vehicle down as it is approaching the surface of the Atlantic Ocean uh, off the coast of Florida. And it's continuing to descend under those chutes. We just passed 500 meters. Everything continuing to look good via reports to all the flight control teams. Now we're at about 400 meters. The 
and just passing 300 meters, continuing to descend. We might be right on time. We were planning on splashing down at about 5.45 a.m. Pacific, and we're getting real close to that bingo time. Just past 200 meters. And we have confirmation that Dragon is now under 100 meters, uh, is 100 meters above the, the surface of the ocean. So next up, spin, standing by for splashdown. now in recovery. That splashdown came right on time, 5.45 a.m. Pacific, 8.45 a.m. over on the East Coast. The teams that have been ready and waiting, they were staged just a few nautical miles away. They're gonna start moving in now. You can see those two fast approach boats already speeding their way towards the capsule. 